So it's my pleasure to introduce Don Phoenix, uh, Don, Phoenix, Don Frasche, CEO of Phoenix, to give an update uh, with UBC. But this this is from two years ago. So let me ask. Make sure that mention doesn't catch fire, right? So, uh, as Ty said, I'm Don Fresky, CEO of Phoenix and Bass Materials. Uh, we are a producer of ultra high purity metals. And when I say ultra high purity, it is 99.99999% pure. So, we'll take a byproduct, say from tech metals like tellurium or indium or other things, and we convert it down and remove all the impurities. So, it's like one grain on a whole beach of sand. It's just a small, small part per billions. And we started the research in 2021. So we were, we found out about uh, Jian Liu doing research on tellurium and selenium, different materials that have a high theoretical capacity. So how we advanced is we came up with a new cathode that we're working on along with an anode and of course the electrolyte. So we had to make these batteries safe. So we started playing around with tellurium. It started working well with, uh, with, the, with the lithium anodes uh, we had a, you know, a few issues. Then we started working really on the cathode side. So we wanted to focus on a tellurium sulfur cathode. So tellurium and sulfur have the highest theoretical capacity for storage. We patented that. So we have a patent pending on our cathode now since it works so good. So we have a tellurium sulfur cathode. We've now advanced the anode side where we're not using graphite, none of that other fun stuff. We're using straight lithium metal and we're adding other components. I can't disclose what other elements we're using, but we produce them at Phoenix into the anode, making a really solid anode and cathode material that works great together right now. Of course, that's using an organic electrolyte or a gel polymer electrolyte. Gel polymer is much safer, but it's still, uh, it's still better than the organic liquid electrolyte. And now our focus is on the solid state electrolyte. So we've got, uh, it's a combination of a ceramic and a gel polymer, making that system very safe. So we're, we're now at the pout cell development. So we've gone from coin cell to pout cell. Uh, we've uh, we partnered with uh, Next Lithium Corp and First Tillium Corp. We're looking at bringing these pout cells into fruition over the next year. So if these pout cells work with our new technologies, we will be requiring lots of tellurium and sulfur Lots of lithium, lots of indium, lots of other things that will require that we purify. So it's, uh, you know, the biggest problem we have is sourcing, sourcing these materials. A lot of our sources comes out of China. And we've had from Department of Defense, Department of Energy in the U.S., they need other suppliers. They want North American supply. So this is going to become critical. In the next year or two, as we commercialize, it will be super critical that we start getting these minerals out of the ground and into our hands because we can you know we can take it further but without that we're reliant overseas so that's our update uh we have a lot of good things going forward and it's going to be an interesting ride thank you